Hey guys, welcome back to Rome in the Ruins and today I am in Cofidi, a nice little Welsh town and I'm actually in Groes Wen and I'm searching for the ruins of a house known as T. Cloyd. Hope I pronounced that correctly because even though I am Welsh, I'm rubbish with Welsh names. I blame it on having an English mum. Uh, so basically, um, there's this lady who runs a Facebook page called Cofidi Local History. She got in touch with me a couple of months back after seeing my video on Bowville Farm. And she asked me permission if she could share it in the group. I said, yeah, sure, go for it. Um, thanks for all the extra views, by the way. And then she told me about a couple of places, and she said T. Cloyd's, in her opinion, is one of the most scariest ruins of Cofidi. And I can't find anything about it online, not much anyway. Um, so it's kind of a mystery, I guess, who lived there. But um, I've parked in a place called Hendredeni, and I'm now walking up the country road. Uh, got some new wellies as well. Hang on, I don't know if you can see these. Not sure if you can see that or not. Got a bit posh barber wellies because uh, the green ones I was using are cheap, and I've got like a couple of problems with my feet, like plantar fasciitis, and these are a lot more sportive and a lot more comfy. Still got my other proper walking shoes as well, but these these are doing really well actually this is the first trial and they're very warm very snug so let's go and see T. Cloyd okay guys so just off the road here it is and um, seems to be quite a lot of it left if I can get another angle I can't see because it's so bright in that direction there it is right it would be rude not to uh, jump the fence and go and have a look Oh, look at that bird. Guess this is one of uh, Cafe's most scariest ruins. So, imagine this would have been some kind of farmhouse then, maybe. Can you imagine approaching this at dark? <laughs> Right, so it's like a couple of birds around. Yeah, another structure by there. Let's go and take a look at this one first. Okay, so these look like they could have been uh, stables or something years ago. Can't see any sign outside of the house name. Yeah, I imagine there won't be an awful lot left in these uh, ruins anymore. That sun is so bright today. Quite a lot of this is still standing, I mean, look at it. So yeah, these look like they could have had uh, maybe animals here or something that's chained up. Oh, speaking of which, there's a destroyed skull on the floor. Wow, look at that. Yeah, definitely something. Probably a sheep. Oh yeah, there's kind of few bones around you. I'll be washing my hands off this. Got teeth left there. Yeah, these would have been animals. Take a look at that. Man. Oh, yeah. And then one right by the door. Proper scary stuff. Yeah, probably a farmhouse. Especially considering the location. Hope I don't catch anything from those bones now. Plenty of this still remains. Uh oh. Okay. As long as I don't find any human bones, I think we'll be all right. Okay, so this is the main house. Sorry, I'd lay then because I could do a lot of uh, movement in that direction. Yeah, this would definitely be screwing night time. Maybe I'll come back and shoot some kind of a horror parody. Right, so, 
I've peered now to the main entrance, pretty overgrown, getting attacked by a midge then. Oh, get off. Fed the other flies on you. This is kind of cool. Look at that. Those birds like saying, warning, stay away. Well, if it is haunted, we're about to find out. Do ghosts come out in the daytime? I don't know. Maybe some kind of a sign used to hang near, or some kind of knocker. Used to have an arch down here. Right, let's go inside have a look. Knock, knock. Oh. Yeah, plenty of this place still standing. Wow. And then behind me, some tall windows. Obviously the floor is missing. I f one thing I found with like exploring ruins like this, you very rarely um, find a second floor. Or a first floor. Bloody hell. <laughs> Came from up there. Uh, of course, people have been here in the past. There's cans around. Uh, Looks like there's another structure inside here which has collapsed. It's like a lot of like doodles up there, like circles on that concrete design. Don't know if that's just natural or someone's done it in the past. Interesting stuff. Yeah, so we found where the fireplace would have been in this corner. It'd be amazing actually to actually dig this up and see what is underneath it all. Because you can't see much here, it's all overgrown. Stinging nettles. It's always stinging nettles. Why is it always stinging nettles? It'd be cool to see like some original graffiti or something. Right on. Oop. It's falling over everywhere. What does that say? Ebu Vale, I think that says. The brick. Right, I'm going to go into here, hope it doesn't collapse. Yeah, another Ebu Vale brick. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, much smaller room by here. Let's go in the corner so we can get a better view. Yeah, so I have no idea who used to live here. Um, if you're watching this video and you happen to be local or know some information, please let me know in the comments below. That would be cool. Nice view though outside they had. Very nice view. Yeah, it's not an awful lot to see, but I didn't expect it to be. Especially after all these years of people come in and stuff's missing, and so maybe another small fireplace. And then let's go at the back, is it? Yeah, and there's that ominous looking tree I keep on mentioning of the birds. Oh, they're kind of gone. Yeah, let's look at the back left. Of course, this is still farmland. So, um, up there is fields, crops and stuff like that. And here's the back of it. It's a nice size, uh, it's age. Lots of uh, wool around you. Or a giant spider with that kind of web. Some kind of hose. Yeah, awful lot of uh, old wool. Probably belonging to a sheep, I'll probably find the skirt and now. Right, so here's looking in for the window. Joe, you know, I don't know if I'd like to live outside out in the country, um at night time, if you're on your own. Step on something there, I'm not sure what it was. The back door. What was it the front door? Yeah. Right, we'll go and take a look at that structure now. There you go, a perfect view of T. Cloyd. Yeah, someone needs to cut this grass, mind. You can see where I've been uh, stepping. It's that big, that thick, overgrown. Okay, so this is what we're going to go into next. Yeah, probably some kind of grazing shed. Any more bones? Okay, Let's be careful here because there's a drop. Yeah. So you've got, got feeding troughs. Are they feeding troughs? I'm not too sure. My knowledge on agriculture isn't top notch.
it's quite nifty. Quite neato, as I say. Ah, oh, sun is blinding. Yeah, so it's amazing how much of these structures are still here. How standing I are. I'm not sure the exact date it was built, but I'll try and find that out for you guys, and we shall have a look. I shall put it in the video if I can find out. Not much left of the ceiling, mind. Okay, not an awful lot seen here, really. And then this is the outside. So like I said, you still got some farm in the fields around here. Luckily the farm is not here to tell me off. Ah, oh, is he? Cool, right. Let's have a quick look at the structure from the outside. There you go, that is pretty much it. That is pretty much T. Cloyd. Quite interesting to see. Let's have a quick walk up here. Got some old country walls in that direction. Yeah, that's the back of the farmhouse. And then around the corner, get T. Cloyd. It does look spooky. Should I come back here at night? <laughs> okay guys, so that is it, that is T. Cloyd. Um, quite an interesting little look around actually. I mean, quite a lot of it's still standing, which is amazing considering all the bad storms we have and in Wales it always rains. Apart from today, lovely uh, October day today. Nice autumn. It's not actually that cold out, it's quite warm. Um, yeah, so I'm interested to know if you know of any other structures in the South Wales area that you think would be interesting to, for me to check out, please let me know in the comments below and I shall get around to looking for it. There's the view around here. Amazing stuff. Get in, guys. And if you see any ghosts on camera watching this back, let me know. Oh! Coming up then, um, there's a World War II pillbox I want to check out, not far from uh, the Seven Bridge. So if I can try and find a way down there, I'll do that. Also, there's an old World War II bunker at the bottom of Penavan, which I never knew about. So that'll be really interesting. And I still got a list of other ruins on. My, I've got like a list on my phone ruins to check out. So as soon as I get the time and I'm able to do so, I will definitely go and do those. Right, thank you for watching as ever, guys. And yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I will catch you in the next one.